Okay, so this is going to be a tutorial focusing on how to export um, MARC data into a delimited text format. So the uh, the common there's there are two common use cases um, for delimited text data um, in how they relate to MARC edit. One is taking delimited text and turning it into MARC, and there is a tool for that. Um, under tools, there's a uh, um, uh, or excuse me, under add-ins, there's a delimited text translator. This will take delimited text and will help you translate it into MARC. Um, there's a tutorial for that on YouTube. Um, all you have to do is look for MARC Edit Delimited Text Translator. This is going to be a tutorial on how to take MARC data and turning it into a tab delimited format that can be used um, within a program like Excel. So um, in MARC Edit, under the Tools menu, there's a, a little wizard called Export Tab Delimited Records. Um, if you select that, you have the option then to select a file. Um, you can pick, uh, you should note, either a MARC file or a non-MARC file, um, a, a, a file that's been in the MARC edit mnemonic format. I'm going to go ahead and take a, a MARC file. Um, you then select where you want to save the data, and I'm going to go ahead and save it um, as a tab delimited format, because I like that as a uh, um, it imports usually better. You'll see the field selector delimiter changes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click next. Now at this point, we need, there are a couple things we need to look at right away. Okay, first options. So there are these two check marks. One says normalize field data. This will actually normalize your data and take out subfields and indicator data. So um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, check that. It's a global setting. Um, then there's a uh, mark record here. Uh, is your file format in mark or is it in the mark edit mnemonic format? If it's in mark, keep this checked. If it's in the mnemonic format, uncheck it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, tell it which fields I want to export. I'm going to export the 001. I'm going to export the 245, and I'm going to tell it I want just subfield A. Now, if you're doing this, for example, um, in a, a set where you're having to deal with a lot of vendor data, and you're going to you're going to have to export this data over and over and over again or maybe on a monthly basis on a different set of vendor files. Um, what you can do is you can set up a template, an export template, and then under this settings link, click on it and save the settings so that you can actually um, come back into the wizard and reload those settings without having to redefine um, the fields for export. So this is what I want to do. I want to go ahead and export that. The uh, file has been exported, and so we can see that the file lives right here. Um, if we go ahead and open that up, um, I don't have uh, I don't have this associated with Excel by default. So let's just go ahead and open it up into uh, into Notepad, so you can see what it looks like. And you can see um, there's the 001, there's the field data, and there's a tab separating the two. And so this data then would be importable into Excel, and you could use it um, uh, port that information to use in other programs. If you have any questions, feel free to contact the Market at Listserv, um, or you may uh, contact me um, directly if you have uh, specific questions or enhancements. Okay.